But Tabzi, I've got work to do in the kitchen. One of my favorite chefs. Welcome to the show, chef. Luazi, how's it Hi going? Guys. Um, well, thank you. It's Hello. so good to see you. Well, the last time I saw you, I almost want to ask for an autograph because you were <laughs> a superstar on the Taste Master. How, 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 yeah. how does it feel being back in studio and cooking for television? I haven't done this since Taste Master, so. I'm looking forward to today. Yeah, well, mm. I think we all are. I think we all are. Best teeth in the game, I think it's safe to oh, say. I mean, come Best on. Best teeth in the come game. <laughs> now, we are celebrating Earth Month, and we want to remind you not to waste any part of your veg. Yep, so uh, don't scrub the skins. Use them like we are going to be doing here in our kitchen when making these golden brown and crispy carrot fritters. Yes. I'm really familiar with... Um, Pumpkin fritters, those yeah, are, you know, like... I moved to Cape Town and I realized that, okay, they're a, they're a little bit of a thing, yeah. but I've never tried a carrot yeah. fritter and we're yes. wasting no part of it. So let's get cooking. Alrighty. So over here we've got carrots, mm -hmm. which will be going in the bowl. There's a lot of carrots there. Yes. I think it's about four grated carrots. And I also have noticed that you didn't um, peel the carrot first. You also yes. used the carrot skin all in there. Yes. So that's just to also add more flavor to it because the skin actually has flavor. Mm. And I think it's not just flavor, it's uh, the vitamin C yeah, as well. Oh, yes, mm. yes, mm. yes. Um, so the flour's in, and then I'm gonna put in the... The spring, spring onion. onion. <laughs> Is it because you got the, 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 the compliment about your teeth that you're now going to smile and laugh at everything <laughs> you just He's now blushing. Like, oh. <laughs> right. hey? um, I try, guys. I try. <laughs> it's so we've got two eggs going in here. Obviously, they have to be whisked up. Yeah. Um, and then I'll be putting in some royal baking powder. Mm. Oh, taste master. Of course. Yes. Oh, speaking of taste master, I mean... Tell us about that experience. What was that like for you? What did you learn? What did you, did, what did you take away from it? Well, for me, um, it was more about having fun mm -hmm. and coming out of my comfort zone and just to learn a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was a great experience for me. So we're going to mix all of this in together. Um, I got to meet lovely people who are my friends today and I get to learn a whole lot from them as well. So one thing about it is that Taste Master is an incredible opportunity mm. to promote yourself within the entertainment space. Mm. Whether you win or not, yes. it, it, it gives you an opportunity and exposure within the entertainment industry and also True. just the culinary industry as a whole. I mean, look at our chefs, Jay and Dumi. They've done so well. Yeah. They've yes. done so well. Uh, but they do well on the kitchen or in the kitchen here as they do out on the streets. So what you have shown me today is that you really are resourceful on and off or other inside and outside of your kitchen where you work. The mm. skins, what do you normally do with them? Chefs always have something to do with skins that and, they charge and us for. Pips. And pips. <laughs> that they charge us <laughs> for. And fortune <laughs> for. <laughs> um, so the skins are usually used as garnish. Mm. So we use that, just peel them and deep fry them. Uh, what sort of skins, like of, of what vegetables and fruits can we sort of reuse for all sorts of other creations? I know potatoes. Okay. Mm. Potatoes my, is, is actually one of my favorite um, vegetables to use. Mm. Yeah. I never peel my potatoes. I've never peeled a potato a day in my life because but, I believe all too. the nutrients ha is packed but in they. the potato skin. Mm. So even if I'm making mash, you will see skin, pip, like little speckles within yeah. my mashed potato because I use the entire potato. But yeah. also like cucumber skins. Cucumber skins, yes. Yeah. Can use that as garnish as well. Yeah. Okay, so Chef, I think it's now time for you to start um, frying up the, those fritters. And all on right. this side, we are making a delicious dip. So what's in front mm. of me, Chef? So we've got plain yogurt. Mm. Boom, let's go in there with that. We've got... You got some herbs got coming some herbs. in there. Cumin, salt and pepper, Cumin and day. lime. Yeah. Lime juice. Oh, yummy. Yeah. I suppose the whole idea with this sort of uh, dipping uh, sauce or dip is that you want it to be fresh and mm. summery, right? To complement our fritters. 
I mean, this is going to be the perfect accompaniment to our carrot fritters here. Now, tell me, a lot of people are watching this and they're thinking, oh my word, this guy, I mean, we saw him get onto the taste master. He was very shy in the beginning mm. and now he just smiles all the time when he <laughs> speaks and he's very confident. Uh, what is your piece of advice, your words of encouragement to everyone looking to enter? Mm. So, guys, um, when it comes to taste master, just be yourself. Mm. Um, be out there, have fun, and learn a whole lot. And laugh. And laugh. And, and laugh. smile. And smile. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Uh, how long does it take once you've got that going? About two minutes each side. Okay. Oh, yes. quick. On mm. slow, medium heat. Mm. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I'm going to give it a taste and tell you uh, what we think of uh, ooh, 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 our fritters here. You almost don't. You almost want to have this as a snack as or a snack. start. As I'm seeing mm -hmm. the opportunities with it, and I'm also a grazer. I'm someone I do not. Mm. I cannot have a sit down and have a big old meal. I get intimidated. Mm. So having something like this to eat on the go is nice. Mm. And it's quite solid too. It, it feels quite solid. It feels like it's filling. Love. So maybe not just starters only. Maybe not just a snack. Maybe that's your dinner sorted. It's really nice. Thanks, Luazi. You're welcome, guys. Mm. Well, just like that, again, another huge thank you to Ulwazi. You are the real legend. Now, if you think that you have what it takes to be SA's next baking legend, enter the Tastemaster SA. Simply visit thetastemaster.co.za and share a video of yourself telling us why you love baking with the tried and tested Royal Baking Powder. Yep, get those entries in. They close on the 23rd of April. The T's and C's. Go and find them on the Tastemaster. Who knows, you could be the next person to hit the big time. <laughs> Are you a rising star in the kitchen, ready to bake it till you make it? Then enter the new season of Tastemaster SA, brought to you by tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder on SABC2, where you could win 50,000 rands worth of prizes and become a baking legend. Visit thetastemaster.co.za, share a video about yourself and why you love baking with Royal Baking Powder. Entries close on 23 April, T's and C's apply.